Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video and uh, today I want to talk about um, extra Diedrich enemies that I think would be cool in Oblivion uh, or any game, you know, the Elder Scrolls game that they add the Plains of Oblivion in because I think that, uh, like, one of the downfalls of Oblivion and Oblivion Gates is there's a lack of enemies. Like, there's a lot of enemies, but there's not a lot of types. So, um, yeah. We're just going to talk about enemies that I really think would be really cool. And to start off, I wish there was a T-Rex. Like a giant animal. Something giant. Like, bigger than, uh, what is it, the alligator thing. Like, a, a bigger animal that only the most powerful heroes could really fight normally. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, T-Rex, Velociraptor, something like that. It'd be cool if there was an enemy type that was like pack oriented, so like you found them in groups of two and three, you know, and they were really weak unless you fought them and fought them in a way to where only one would attack you at once. Because that's how I think a combat in Oblivion is, is you, you try to fight one enemy at a time. And I think that if there was an enemy specifically designed to, like, pack hunt, right? Wolves would make sense for that in Oblivion. But I think also a Diedrich enemy of some kind. Maybe if Clan First did it. Because Clan could you imagine a pack of three Clan First coming at you? That would, that's scary even for a top-tier character. You know? Uh, I think a character that's lava-based would be really cool. It shoots lava at you. Like, something that walks on the lava and spawns on top of or in the lava and, like, is only in the lava, right? So, like, it'd be cool if you got lava walking or water walking, right? And you could have resist fire so you could take a lot of hits and you could fight this thing and it gave you some, like, lava salts or, you know, something like that. Or maybe if Flame Atronox were on there, that'd be really, really cool. Um, I don't see too many archers. I kind of think that it'd be cool if there were more archers, because I don't see a lot of archers. I see, at the end of the game, I see a lot of two-handed weapon fighting. It'd be kind of cool if there was, like, a light armor type character and a heavy armor character, because there's really only heavy armor and mages, right? It'd be cool if there was, like, light Diedrich armor. And so you'd have, like, those bandit-type characters. Uh, a character that used a short sword or a knife would be really, really cool. You know, a character specifically designed to fight with knives in the Diedrich area. Um, it'd be cool if, if you swam in the lava. Like, you made a character designed to swim in the lava, and there was, like, lava slaughterfish. You know, that would be really epic. I would love, you know, lava slaughter fish. So then you made a character that specializes in lava slaughter fish or something like that. That'd be really cool. Um, those are kind of the basic enemies that I wish. I wish that the Jamora spiders could climb things. That'd be really cool. Could you imagine, like, you exit out of the tower and you look up and there's a Jamora spider right there attacking you? That would be really cool. I think that, that mm, that's a missed opportunity right there. Uh, and again, those could be another pack-type enemy. You know, that that's kind of what I would like to see in the Diedrich enemies. That's all off the top of my head. I mean, we go into detail where you have, like, this specific type of character with specific stats and specific spells. But I think, you know, they have a lot of enemy types in there. They have that kind of, like, clan fur, right? That's like a wild animal. They have the spider. That's like a troll or a spriggan. They have, I don't even know what's called a Zilvi, I don't even know how to say it. It's like a Minotaur. They have the Diedrich Knight and the two-handed and the mace, ba or sorry, the hammer based, and the mage, of course, the necromancer. And it'd just be kind of cool if, you know, there's like a bandit type Dramora, you know, that maybe could dodge a little bit better, maybe a little bit faster. Maybe there's different species with different stats. So you know how in a, in a, Oblivion, the Bretons have resist magic. Maybe there's a resist magic type Dramora and a physical resistance Dramora and a jumpy, you know, fast boy Dramora. I think it'd be really cool if there was more Dramora than just a Dramora, you know? Maybe some cultists. I mean, it would make sense if the cultists were in Oblivion. You really only find them in a main quest. I wish that the cultists were kind of 
more in the Oblivion Gates. That would be the perfect place to put light armor, by the way. Light armor and Jamora people is just cultists. You know, and... Yeah. So, uh, and of course, I think in Oblivion it would make sense to have reanimated corpses. I mean, you can reanimate a corpse with Mana Marco staff. I think doing it in a gate of Oblivion makes perfect sense. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's really it. That's all my ideas for Deidre characters. I'd love to know what you, you would want in the Plains of Oblivion or any Elder Scrolls game where you have obl the Plains of Oblivion. Yeah, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next one.